In the 1922 World Series, the New York Giants defeated the New York Yankees in five games, four games to none with one tie. Starting this year, the World Series was again best of seven. By now, the term World Series was being used frequently, as opposed to World Series. As with the 1921 World Series, every game was played at the polo grounds because it housed both teams, with the home team alternating. It was also the Yankees' final season at the polo grounds, as they would move into the then under construction Yankee Stadium for the 1923 season, which ended in them winning the rematch. The Giants pitched around Babe Ruth and scored just enough runs to win each of the games outside the controversial Game 2 tie. That game was called on account of darkness, but many thought there was sufficient light to have played some more innings the sun was still in the sky, and there were some suspicions that one or both teams might have allowed the tie to happen to increase the overall gate receipts. Commissioner Landis was among those who was dissatisfied with the result. One story is that Landis asked umpire Hildebrand, Why the Sam Hill did you call the game? The umpire answered, There was a temporary haze on the field. The game decision was in the hands of the umpires, but the commissioner's office controlled the gate receipts. Landis ordered the money, more than $120,000, turned over to World War I charities, thus nullifying any impropriety. The Tide game would turn out to be the third and final Tide game in the history of the World Series. The other two Tide games occurred in 1907 and 1912. No ties are possible under later rules, which allow for suspension of a tied game and resumption of it at a later date, as with Game 5 of the 2008 World Series. This would prove to be Giants manager John McGraw's third and final World Series win. Topic. Summary NL New York Giants 4 versus All New York Yankees 0 Topic Matchups Topic Game 1 The game and series remained scoreless until the 6th inning Whitey Witt tripled, then was cut down at home trying to score on a fielder's choice, but a Babe Ruth hit got the run home. A three-run giant rally in the eighth knocked out Yankee starter bullet Joe Bush, with the winning run coming off reliever Wade Hoyt on a Ross Young sacrifice fly. Topic. Game 2 This was the controversial tie see above. Pitchers Bob Shockey and Jesse Barnes went all ten innings. The Yankees had tied the game in the eighth on doubles by Babe Ruth and Bob Musil, but that's the way the game ended. Topic. Game 3 Knuckleballer Jack Scott kept the Yankees off the board. His own single sparked a two-run third inning for the Giants, who added an insurance run in the seventh on Frankie Frisch's RBI single. The game took just one hour, 48 minutes. Topic. Game 4 This contest moved along even faster than Game 3. It was over in a snappy 141, with Giants pitcher Hugh McQuillan going the distance for a 4-3 win. Dave Bancroft's two-run single in the fifth was the key hit. Topic. Game 5 Art Neff's five-hit pitching combined with a three-run eighth inning won the series for the Giants. The decisive rally began with a Heine Gro single and Frankie Frisch double. 
After an intentional walk to Ross Young's, a two-run single by High Pockets Kelly put the Giants on top. Next batter Lee King, inserted in the outfield that inning for defensive purposes, delivered an RBI single to make it 5-3, and that's how it ended. This is the last World Series the Giants won at home. Their championships of 1933 and 1954, for New York and 2010, 2012 and 2014, for San Francisco all came as the visiting team. Topic. Composite line score 1922 World Series 4-0-1, New York Giants NL over New York Yankees AL. <laughs> Notes